Let's go through an example of a greenhouse that's already being designed so you can get a sense of what I'm talking about with these subterranean heating and cooling systems. The greenhouse that you're looking at right now is included with this course and you have a set of AutoCAD plans that you can pull up if you'd like to take a look at this while I'm talking through it. I find it's a lot easier to look at three-dimensional renders than to look at plans for people to be able to visualize what's actually going on. Let's take a look inside this greenhouse now. Here's the set of plans that you guys have received. So we're going to go through a couple of these drawings and just take a look at a, and so we're going to go through these drawings and just take a look at an example so you can get a better sense of what's going on. Here's the south elevation. Here's the north elevation. Here's the west elevation and the east elevation. And here we have a plan view. And so if you look carefully at this plan view, you can actually see the subterranean heating and cooling system on the actual floor plan. Now what we've done here is we've tried to maximize the size of the subterranean heating and cooling system by fitting it into this space right here. Now you'll notice that the back duct comes up right here and that's the inlet manifold and the outlet manifold is right here. And these are the heat pipes moving in between the two manifolds. Here's the same illustration of that same picture without all of the other components inside of the greenhouse. Here's a section view of the same system. So you can see the inlet pipe and fan which pushes it down into the manifold and then underground to the outlet manifold and to the outlet into the actual greenhouse itself. Here's a close up view of that same system. So you can see we've got three pipes running parallel to each other. We've got the inlet manifold and fan through the heat pipes, the outlet manifold, and then back out the fan. So this system has three pipes per lift, which we'll talk about in a second when we're entering information into the data. And the lifts themselves are two feet apart. So from this pipe to the next pipe at the same elevation, we have two feet. If you're looking to design your own passive solar greenhouse and want help in choosing R value for your walls, a glazing material, the amount of heat or size of heater required to heat the greenhouse, your lighting system, thermal mass calculation, as well as designing a subterranean heating and cooling system, you will find that this tool makes passive solar greenhouse design infinitely easier. These videos will show you how to use the tool and if you're interested in purchasing the tool for your own passive solar greenhouse design, you can find information on how to purchase the tool at Small Farm Academy in the link below.